Uh, what up, everybody? It's Mad Viking. I'm in the often talked about, never seen before on the channel, my vault. This is just a little shit. Granted, you can't see everything over here. But uh, I kind of got a little crazy recently. Did some purchases. Landed some really good shit. Um, I don't want to talk about the other two because I don't know when they're arriving. I don't have the patience to have them sit with these right here. Even though I should, but I think those are weeks away from coming. And to be honest, I don't even really remember everything I bought. And um, I'm going to do an opening here because I have figure defenders sitting at my feet. And they're going to go into my clay. Well, I don't want to give it away quite yet. My, uh, my uh, valued collection here. So I'm going to just get right into them. Uh, I'm listening to too many podcasts, so my brain is racing. Uh, most of which are punk related because nobody can shut up and move on and get on with their lives. And they have their own opinions because this is a big shit to talk about because they need something to talk about. So, uh, right here. We have, which was not a bad deal, and I, I, I'm not cuckoo, oops, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs on chases, but this is one that I did want, and I totally forgot, because I have tickets for this show in October, and he's going to be at it, so I will be taking this figure with me to get him to sign it, and of course that is Lance Archer, his chase, one of 3,000. It does bug the shit out of me that we don't see him on TV. Uh, they just like to reintroduce him from time to time to remind you, hey, this guy's still here. He's still a killer. And then do absolutely nothing with him. Uh, even my nephew, who is a wrestling fan, but didn't really know anything about him until I introduced him to him at a New Japan show. He's like, what the hell are they doing with him? But uh, I did love this one. Very few chases I like go gaga over, but I wasn't spending 300 bucks when people were trying to sell them for that much. This was under $100, so that's why I did it. So I am very happy with that. Uh, great packaging on this dude's part, by the way. Which, really, for it being a chase, I guess that's what you should expect. I'm looking for my cutting device sorry about that um, I'm sitting on so many videos on my phone that I, my phone is actually running out of phone space so I'm gonna post this right away um, a few videos down you can see the work of a guy here that I know in Florida who did something special for my Brody Lee figure defender case if you haven't seen it yet please go see it I also plan on him doing something for her as well because I was a Dark Order fan. Um, I think the dumbest thing she did was leave the Dark Order because what has she done since then? But this is the one of 5,000 of her chase, equally priced as the Lance Archer, which may have been a little ridiculous. Okay, I just wanted to make sure this was sealed. <laughs> so that is her chase. Can never get rid of that glare. I'm going to put him over here, and for like, because it was such a flash of purchases last week, uh, I didn't really remember what I purchased, uh, and I had to go back and look at my Facebook DMs to remind myself, uh, but I have a very sought-after chase coming, I actually, I have two more actually, but one is going... It already is. It's very popular. And I know the guy, and he had probably the most reasonable because everybody is losing their minds and paying four or five hundred dollars for it. I'm not doing that. So this guy was definitely the cheapest, and he got my business. And look at that. That's just one chase. That's what that's how you get repeat business from me. I didn't pay money to get a damaged chase. Wow, he really went crazy. <laughs> this is a, a lot of a lot of bubble wrap. Hey, Andy, I ain't complaining. You 
are spot on. I need my knife again, I think. Sorry about that. Uh, anybody watch All In? I thought that was an amazing show. Or all, yeah, All In, and then the next weekend, All Out. Uh, so AEW's definitely been getting a shit ton of my money recently. Uh, it was quite the visual seeing AEW there in uh, Wembley Stadium. And of course, everybody knows the situation. And uh, it's possibly Punk's last match with AEW. And I say possibly because Dave Meltzer is reporting he could come back. <laughs> Which I think, I don't know. Is Tony Shirley that insane to not have him on the roster? They already put out numbers for the last collision. Once everybody found out that CM Punk wasn't on the show, they lost like 350,000 views immediately. He's their number one merch seller right now. I think he's always been. So they're losing that. But this I jumped on. I thought he was going to come in a defender case, but it doesn't matter because I have plenty. And that's, of course, what I'm referring to is the chase of CM Punk, one of 5,000. And, of course, everybody can talk shit about him and hate on him all you want, but his merch is flying. His merch was very expensive even before he came back to AEW, and it's going to continue to be that way. And I wanted to see him Punk chase. I really need to go back and look what I paid for it. I know I didn't go insane with it. It was probably a hundred bucks. But I am happy. He is now in the collection of my chases, which are growing exponentially. Yes. And I got two more coming. And when those arrive, you can know damn well I will have videos for those because I'm really excited about one. The one I just happened to be online and saw when they put them on sale. I'll get into that figure when it arrives. Um, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But I thought, eh, why not? What the hell? I'll buy it. Uh, I, I actually like the t-shirt. So that that was that. But uh, I'm going to let this go. I, I wish I could remember this. Please hit like, leave a comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. All that good stuff. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Uh, i got to make something tonight. I really do because I need to make I need to put the video out there. Or I just need to sit on it and wait till the box arrives for this month. Because I'm two months behind. And then after that, depending on what these boxes look like, they may be the end of my Pro Wrestle Crate videos for a while, if not indefinitely. Because the last one disappointed me, and I have to struggle so hard to get views on those things. I know there's a lot of competition, whatever, out there. But, you know, when it, you don't feel like uh, the effort's reciprocated, I don't know. It's not worth the time and the money. And like I said, I've been kind of not getting them out when I'm supposed to, but I'm still not at home. That's the thing. And um, I am at home, but I'm not. I'm in the middle of a conundrum because I'm like, maybe I should sell, maybe I should rent. Because I found out I can make 2500 a month renting my house out. And I do have options to live, <laughs> places to go. But uh, you know what would be nice? $2,500 a month in my pocket. So, I don't know. Uh, geez, is this going to fit in there? Is this the right... A little snug... Snug, snug, snug. All right, he goes in there. So, anyways, I'm not going to make you watch me uh, close these up. But uh, CM Punk's new home until otherwise. Uh, the guy that did my Brody Lee box, he's going to be making me an Anna J one pot. And I'm going to tell him to make me one for CM Punk. So when those arrive, I'll make videos for those as well. Maybe I'll hold back on showing those. And if you haven't seen what this totally looks like go back and watch the video please um and that is it for now like i said thanks for watching leave a comment see you in the next video which should be a wrestling video mad viking out <laughs>